Coming up next on Columbus Connections, we are talking to Metro and learning new things they're doing and showing you how you can save a little money with your gas. Stay tuned. Welcome to Columbus Connection. I'm your host, David Britt, and today we are talking public transportation. Now, you may have been to other major cities where you can park your car, you can catch the bus and, and ride somewhere. It saves gas, it may help you get somewhere better if there's congested parking or traffic. Well, Columbus is doing that too. We have some new ride share places where you can go park your car, again, save some gas. Maybe you're going downtown, you, something might happen where you don't feel like driving when you leave the bar or whatever. You can ride the bus, get back to your car, get home safe. We're going to talk to Metro about this, so I have with me, well, you know what? I'm going to let them introduce themselves. How about that? How are you doing? I'm doing fine. How are you, Dave? Good, good. Tell, give me your names, your positions, and what you all do with Metro. Okay. I'm Rosa Evans, and I'm the director, Metro. I'm Robert Sheridan, and I'm the uh, transit compliance officer with Metro. Awesome. And you've, you're, you're new to the city of Columbus. I am. Well, yeah. well to the city government. Welcome. Yes, sir. Originally from Albany and happy yes. to be here. Awesome, yeah. awesome. So tell us about uh, what we have going on. Okay. Um, well, in our parking, parking initiative, we're trying to coordinate park and ride locations with Metro bus routes. Um, we have different locations throughout the city that people can park and ride on, on a Metro bus. And so Robert has been with us now for five months. And that's one of the projects he took on coming on board is, uh, you know, we had already started the process and so with the previous parking manager. And so Robert just kind of picked it up and put together something to provide to the public to show them each of the park and ride locations. Mm -hmm. And um, these are places where people can, you know, if you don't want to drive from the north to the south or east to the west, where we have metro routes already traveling and some locations for people to park and ride. Gotcha. So currently we do have people who will park on 9th Avenue and get on a bus at the transfer center. Right. So they do that right now. So we thought we might as well expand those park and ride locations and uh, put signs out. And so that's what we want to do today is just let the public know when you see these signs, mm -hmm. this, that's what it is. It's telling you where you can park your car and where you can go to get on a Metro bus. All right. So it's, it's convenient for people, whether it's leisure or whether people that are for their day-to-day -day lives working, you know, you, you want, you need to save gas or for whatever reason, yes. you need to just, you have more location where you can park your vehicle there and then hop on the bus and get to where you need to go. Mm -hmm. Yes. I mean, it, it's giving people additional options. Yeah. And that, yeah. that's basically what we want to do is give people options mm -hmm. to, like you say, save money, gasoline, wear and tear on your car, yeah. especially for people who live, already live in close proximity. Mm -hmm. Not too far, but too far to walk to the mm -hmm. park and ride location and park their vehicle and get on a Metro bus. Awesome. Your project, tell me how what the implementation of this has been like and what it was like bringing this project together? Oh, it was uh, very interesting. Um, first, it's uh, identifying the locations. It's mm -hmm. not just our park and ride garages, our parking garages that we have here in Columbus, but it's uh, other sites that we are looking at. So identifying some ideal locations throughout uh, the city of Columbus and um, working with the engineering to get uh, some specs for the signs so mm -hmm. that they can meet uh, all the compliance uh, yeah. requirements yeah. that we have here gotcha. and uh, we're currently that's where we're at we're currently developing those specifications and we're going to be getting the uh, signs out and getting those locations marked gotcha. as soon as possible gotcha. so what are some of the locations well i actually brought a uh, slideshow if you don't mind here's the first one okay now here we have the first two locations. These are actually metro locations, okay. the River Center Parking Garage 
and the Front Avenue parking garage. And in the middle, you can actually see a concept of what the sign would look like gotcha. to a citizen of Columbus. And just for their convenience, we've listed the nearest bus location so they can go and catch a ride with Metro. Yeah. Here we have the Bay Avenue parking garage. Um, and just for your, everyone's convenience, I've listed uh, the entrances locations because a lot of these parking garages have multiple entrances on different roads. Mm -hmm. uh, some people don't realize that, but mm -hmm. yeah, they definitely uh, is pretty convenient. Um, and again, uh, for Bay Avenue, this will be 2nd Avenue and 12th Street, the nearest um, Metro stop. So just park your car there, get out, enjoy your trip with Metro. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. And this one is very important, the City Services Center. Anyone looking to uh, uh, get, uh, you know. With this one being in Midtown, you can have that Midtown location where you kind of can access, it's kind of a central location to Columbus. Right. Where you can access just about all points that Metro travels to. That's correct. Correct, yeah. Yeah, yeah this one's definitely, uh, we didn't have any location put on here because it's right there, you can't mm -hmm. miss it. Yeah. The Metro yeah. stop sign. Yeah. How late does the does Metro run buses? What's the, what's the last? Period? The last bus is in the garage at 11.30, okay. but the buses start coming off route at different times mm -hmm. for different routes but the very last bus is out of service by 11.30. And how early do they get started? 4.30 a.m. Oh, wow. 4.30. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, and they start pulling out 4.30, 5 o'clock, during different uh, times, you know, in the morning. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and for some people, they may, where they work, or they may not have adequate or safe parking, mm -hmm. you know, at their place of employment or, or their, their residence, but they can use this if, if they're nearby. They can park here, they're covered, you know, secure yes. locations, and get to where they need to go. Yes. Parking is a premium in Columbus. Yeah, it's getting that way. It's <laughs> yeah. getting that way. As, yes, it is. It's a great thing that you, I see you all are being proactive as yes. Columbus gets more advanced and continues to progress. Yes. You guys aren't changing it up too much, but giving us just other options. Yes. Other options to do things to just make the quality of life better for all of Columbus's citizens. Yes. So are there any other locations besides the Midtown and the ones we already talked about? Oh, absolutely. We have the uh, Rails to Trails off Manchester. Uh, we have the Knight Street parking lot entrance, which is what's shown on the screen right now. We have uh, Torch Hill Road and Fort Benning Road. Okay. Old Casita Road and the Frank Chester Recreation Center. Gotcha. So all those places, again, you can just park your car there hop on a bus and get to where you need to go. Absolutely. Wow. How can people contact you if they have any, need any other information? They can give us a call at 706-225-4581. All right, and this is breaking news right here. It's coming, it's gonna happen this fall, right? Correct. Yes. Gotcha, so this is breaking news where we're giving you guys just upfront information. So once the signs come out, you guys are gonna be ready to go. Absolutely. So let's get those locations again in case anybody missed them. What are the locations that the parking ride is going to be? Oh, certainly. Um, as you can see from this slide, the first two locations are our Front Avenue parking garage and the River Center parking garage. And in the middle there is a, an example of the type of sign that okay. uh, citizens can see uh, when the signs come up. Here we have the Bay Avenue parking garage. And uh, for their convenience, we just like with the previous sign, we actually have the uh, location of the nearest bus stop. Okay, gotcha. And here is the uh, City Services Center. That's uh, going to be a park and ride uh, location. And here we have the 9th Street parking lot with the nearest uh, bus location. And these last few, they're not uh, metro locations. They're kind of uh, on uh, some of the rails to trails. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. We have the Rails to Trails off Manchester Expressway, Torch Hill Road in Fort Benning, Old Casita, and the Frank Chester Recreation Center. Okay, so you got them all throughout the area, so it, it, it serves the whole community. Yes. Absolutely, yes, yes, sir. Yeah. How can people contact you if they need any, any other information? They can give us a call at, at our Metro uh, main office location, 706-225-4581. The routes are already running. 
Yes. And, and, yes. Those, and those parking spaces are already there. Yes. But the sign's going to come up and make it official for everybody mm -hmm. to be able to know where they are. That's correct. Yes. Yeah, so you guys can already catch those routes and catch those locations. But this is going to be a great thing. The way that Metro does, just staying proactive and, and benefiting the citizens of Columbus with, with the new thing that we can that we can do and take advantage of. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Give us those locations one more time. So we have, let's see. Okay. Let, me, let me see if I can get it. Yeah, see if you can get it. So we have, the, we have the, the, the downtown garages. We have three downtown garages, Bay Avenue mm -hmm. um, and the two on Broadway, right? River okay. Center, River Center. Front, Front Avenue. Front Avenue. Front Avenue. Okay. okay. And of course, downtown is Ninth Avenue surface lot, and that's right across from the government center. Gotcha. Okay, yep. so you got the four locations right there mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. uptown area. Then we have the parking lot that's right there by the government center. That's 9th Street Surface Ninth Line. 9th Street mm -hmm. Surface Line. And then you okay. got this garage. You got the right city here. services garage. Center. In Midtown. Okay. All right. Come on, somebody. And then you got the four other locations that are remote locations, uh, rails to trails type locations. Right. And that's Torch Hill Road. That's Oak Cedar Road. Yes. Frank Chester. And like you said, rails to trails. Mm -hmm. Okay. We got them all. We got, we got them all. Right. All right. One more time in case somebody's joining us. Give us you all's contact number in case we need. 706 225-4581. All right, there you have it, folks. Another great service brought to you by Metro and the citizens, uh, excuse me, the employees of Columbus Consolidated Government working to keep citizens happier, safer, and also helping out our environment, too. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, thank yeah. you for watching Columbus Connections.